start up the next game here, which should automatically capture, and that is Zelter. Okay. And so Zelter here was given to me from the developers for free to play on the stream tonight. So thank you to the developers and the publisher for providing me with a free copy of the game. Zelter is in early access and it is available on Steam. Right now, Zelter is um, on sale up to November the 2nd. And it is on sale for $17.99 USD. And then after that, it will shoot back up to the $19.99 USD price point. And this is only available on PC as of right now. So, um, looks like um, it doesn't look like it uses controller. So, we're going to key more, key more, wow, keyboard and mouse um, the game here. So... But I did get a chance to kind of check this out. We'll be female. Okay, and again, this is early access. So, because it is early access, I'm not going to be like how most people, when they play early access, they try to rip a game apart. But it is an early access. So, um, for those of you who may not be familiar with early access, the way that I like to kind of describe early access is like, think of, in a way, early access kind of being somewhat like Kickstarter in a sense. The only big difference is you get to like play the game in the state that it's in now with the hopes that the game is going to improve over time or you're getting the game the way it is. Um, so, because this is in early access, one of the biggest things that can help developers while a game is in early access is for you to leave feedback for them. You know, things you would like to see in the game and stuff like that. That helps a developer tremendously so that they will be able to create the best game experience possible for their attended audience. So that's just a little bit of what early access is so as of right now there's three skin tones i'd like to see more more variety um there is male and female i will play as female um so we're gonna play as ready set ig and we're gonna be female and let's see so there's a ponytail Bald head one, bald head two, half shave, shortcut, long hair, half shave two, ponytail two, shortcut, short hair one, short hair two, long hair two, ponytail three, short hair three, bald head one. Okay, so here with the um, different hair tones here, one of the things I would like for them all to be together. <laughs> Because uh, it's jumping from different categories so quickly. So that's something that could be worked on. Is that the hairstyles are back to back with one another. So that would help. Also it doesn't look like you can change the hair color. And I would like that as an option as well. To do custom hair colors. Um, let's see. I'll do ponytail too. So that would be something I would like to see. The ability to do custom hair colors as well. And more skin tones. Okay. Oh, her hair is pretty. Because I was going to say, I don't think there was a way to actually turn... Her around to see it, but it actually came out nice. So, oh. Okay, so I. Okay, so I died because um, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. I hit the W or the D key because I thought maybe you could move around with W A S D. 
And, um, yeah, it didn't do anything, so. Okay, so it does look like it uses gamepad. Because I was going to say it doesn't, it didn't seem like it used gamepad, but it does. So let's hit that. I am going to try the game controller instead and see what happens. Because, yeah, trying to use the keyboard and mouse didn't work out so well. So let's try this again. So, I'm using keyboard and mouse. And what this seems to look like for Zelda here, it does look like it's a survival game. Wait, I hear you. I heard you. Yeah. How do I reload? There we go. RB is reload. Definitely a lot better with the um, controller. A is going to be your internet here. Um, okay. Okay, because we're probably going to need that because she's going to need a way to kind of trying to see if we chop at this doesn't do anything okay nothing it's always good to have okay we have to come out of here though okay I'm like, I don't know if we want to break that. That's the first zombie we killed. So it does appear like this is kind of like open world a bit too. Which is cool. I'm pretty sure that maybe on the inside there, there's probably like a... um. There's probably like a um, wood, like a, um, I was going to say a wood shop, but I was going to say probably like an um, work desk to where you can build items and stuff. So we're going to check on what's inside the shelter. I do like too in this that the time doesn't move as fast. So it does give you the ability to... Um, Try and work on... Okay, so nothing. Absolutely nothing in here. Okay, so we have nothing in here. Back to game. Okay, so why looks like it opens up your bag... Y opens your bag. Back to game. That does nothing. I want to go to the, the... You're fully hydrated. Okay. Ah. One of the things that needs to be added to the uh, menu here is an options thing. So that, because it looks like the only things you can do is go back to the game and. Okay, so X brings up the tablet and B brings up your crafting table. So, um, again, some of the things that kind of need to be worked on that I can see so far. The interface here, if I am using GamePad, I would like for the interface to change over for GamePad. Uh, that would be cool.
I think I need wood planks, so... And it looks like she just kind of crafts. Can be crafted at a general workbench, but I don't think I have one of those. I now can make one. Okay, so let's go back into our lovely home here. And I do, like I said, I do really appreciate the fact that the time doesn't... Um, So now we're making the workbench. Uh, no. Okay, so here is what we can do, but... I need to put you know you would think because I just built Like, I legit just built the, um, and it's not, like, um, responding to, like, it's not allowing for me to. build the table like it's building it, but I don't see it anywhere. And it doesn't really, oh, okay, now I see. So let's put that here, right? And then maybe head back out and chop some more wood, I guess. Let's see what else we can kind of make here. This is definitely one of those games that um, it's going to take some getting used to. Now, one of the things I will admit that I do adore about this game is that the characters have no face. So I'm hoping, like I said, I know the game's in early access, and I hope that's something that they kind of keep, because I kind of like the fact that the characters don't have a face. Oh, wait, it looks like they're automatically generating um, wood, though. Okay. Probably do this, right? We'll chop this down. We might need to eat, so. Um, I think X was the tablet. Yep, we need to sleep. And we need to eat. But first, we have recipes. It's like not allowing for me to scroll. So it's like, I don't know. Okay. So let's do this. Let's craft, right? With plank, stone, axe, crossbow, cloth. General workbench. Can't even do a barn fire. Let's do that. Let's drink. I think we need it to be hydrated. We'll eat an apple. Okay. I need to somehow... find or be able to make
Hey, uh, oh, okay. We are going to, uh, well. Can't get in here. Because I was going to. Yeah, it's not letting us in. See what's up here. Trying to see if we can find stuff like a. Oh, that's nice. Okay, here's like trash bags. You would think Well, that's kind of gross. I don't, I didn't have much to do. We died. <laughs> I ran out of bullets. Totally ran out of bullets. Um, continue. I totally 100% ran out of bullets though. We're, we're gonna grab all of this. Um, yeah, no. Oh, this is straight up like some, uh... This is straight up kind of like Terraria. that close that nope we are gonna do wood plank craft do a couple of these wood planks um we can now make a workbench It's really, it, it is a very cute game. It's just really difficult to kind of figure out exactly some of the, um, or do I not have enough? No, I, I, it says I have enough wood planks. Like, it won't let me, oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Okay, let's. That happened. Yep, I can um, build a bench. I also need to um, probably build a barn bonfire because um, there's things I can do with a bonfire too. So, 
have to do that as well. Grab that. And obviously we'll have to build the bonfire obviously outside of the house. So. Killed a couple of, of, of zombies. We're going to go back in here. We're going to close this up. We're going to now make a couple of more wood planks here. It doesn't look like, honestly, one of the things I can say that I'm starting to see is there's no way to increase how many of these you can make at one time. So, so right now we would just be, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way to do it. So you'd have to do them like one at a time, but no, I thought I did more, multiple than one, like more than one before. Let's see. Hmm. All right, we'll do them one at a time for now. But I thought there was a way I did multiples, and I just can't remember now. You need 40s to do a crossbow. Stone axe, workbench. All right, we are going to build... A bonfire. So now we can make roasted meat. Uh, let's go in here, right? Drink that. Doesn't look like that actually does anything. It's gotta be a way to get bullets or find bullets. Hmm. I think we just alerted that zombie. I was trying to see, but I bet we'd have to kind of go into the town. Oh my goodness, run, chick. Run. We know this doesn't really work, but... Yeah, and then, like, you only get so many bullets. And I have yet to find a way to increase the bullets. But I'm imagining if you run to a certain area, it will probably give you bullets. While we're here, let's check out the options again. Um, it's telling me that Korean is the dialogue language, even though it's showing English. Um... And that, so apparently you can do voice lines on here. Gamepad. Okay, so with LT, you can dodge. Okay. But I think that's um, one of the things that needs to be added for this. No. Oh. 
here they come. Yep, so I'm going to grab all of the materials. And again, like I said, I do like that the time doesn't just like hurry up and kind of like disappears or, you know, like hurry up. I think that's pretty cool too. This is a lot of stuff. I'm trying to see if there's another way to get out. To see if maybe, just maybe, we can find like a weapon shop or something. Nope, okay. Uh, go over here. Okay, grab these here. Um, like I said, I'm hoping that I'm going to head into town with the, the character here. And I'm hoping that um, there's some type of a way or a recipe I can find to where I can make um, To where I can make to where I can make bullets and stuff. Nothing there. Oh, I can make a simple bit. Okay. We can't get out, so... Because I don't have a lot of bullets, so I'm not trying to run through all of them like that. That's my biggest thing with that. I don't want to run out of bullets. I only have two left. All right, go here. Close the door. Like I could have sworn. There we go. I was like, I could have sworn it was a way we could take that up, you know, so that we're not like, Might as well craft all of these. Because, you you know, instead of crafting one at a time, I'm like, it's got to be a way I can craft multiples. Because that would probably open up other recipes, is what I would think. Usually in these types of games, survival games, to get the recipes, if you work on one, it usually opens up the others.
And then I know one of them said, like, we could build a simple bed. So that's why I was like, let me try to make multiple of these planks and see what happens. You know? All right, so we have two more to make. All right, so let's see. Now, um, obviously we're gonna make our bench. Let's put the bench here. I'm hoping we'll get lucky. All right, let's see. We can make a furnace. Um, which I bet is used for forging all right I am we don't have enough for that charcoal uh, what else What about the sewing station? I do not have cloth. I could have sworn it told me I could make um let's drink water. It's because I could have sworn it told me. Huh. See if we can make a bonfire, right? Oh, because we moved. That's what happened. Okay. Um, let us craft a bonfire. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna leave that there. We don't have any of that, but we could roast some of this fruit. And see, for some odd reason, like it did it again, like, like it wants me to do each piece individually. But that's okay. See, like I said, so it does have, uh, we're going to go back to the menu real quick. And we'll do keyboard and mouse for a little bit because a lot of the stuff, it doesn't seem, even though it does offer game controller, it doesn't seem like a lot of it's working at the moment. So, I kind of want to see how. I just remembered that I didn't check to see. Uh, 
Okay. Another thing I'm not liking is that it doesn't save. Like, that's another thing that I'm not liking. Also, I would like a way that if I walk over this stuff, instead of having to hit space or whatever to collect it, it would automatically collect. That's something that I would like to see in the game as well. Like, it would legit just auto-collect as opposed to me um, having to hit the actual keys for it so that would be cool okay looks like it is almost about that time to call a stream here though all right Because that would be something I would like to see. Um, I thought the game auto saved, but it doesn't look... It semi-auto saves, I guess. Um, it just doesn't... Um, it auto saves. It just doesn't auto save the way that I would like to see it auto save, which is if I build the workbench, unless I die, I don't think I should lose anything when I exit out of the game. So that's something I would like to see. It uh, if it does have an auto save feature, it doesn't look like it's auto saving. Um, we're gonna make a workbench craft. Number four. To that. I have a drawer. Probably craft one of those. That's probably where I can store items, which would be cool. Um. Yep, I can store items here. Okay, so that's cool. I'm pretty sure if you kind of just like run away from it, it uh, um, let us go out and we're gonna get some things real quick. To uh, you know, now that I look at this, you know what this actually kind of reminds me of a little bit. It kind of reminds me. Um, well, like I said, it's a it's a survival zombie game, which is it's cute though. So I'm going to now build a furnace. I think I will build the furnace here though. Oh, there's our bed. We can make a bed if we get two more platforms. So, uh, but it is about that time to call the stream here. So we will stop the gameplay here and we will get back into this um, at a later date. We will revisit it as updates come out for it. But again, this is Zelter and it is an early access game that is available on Steam. It is on sale for $17.99 USD up until November the 2nd. 
and then after that it will go back to the 1999 USD price point again the game was given to me for free from the developers to play on stream tonight so thank you again from the developers and the publishers for providing me with a free copy of Zelter to play on stream this evening and as long play has dropped in the chat there there is the link that you can click on to see all of the games that I've played this week including this one where they can be purchased and how much they are going for and what platforms they're available on so Zelter was something that um yeah um you know it's fine though because I, I do know that I stream pretty late and depending on where the um developers are located it could be um either really really early or really really late so I you know it, it to me I look at it like that's fine I do upload the um highlights to youtube and things like that so there is always that for them to check out and you know they can always email me as well so 